All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how I created my very own DIY solar pool heater. Now, I want to go over a few things on what you can expect from this heating system. First and foremost, if you don't have sunlight, it's not going to work. All right, it's obviously a solar powered system, so you need sun for this to work. Second, don't expect instant results. You're not going to get instant heating right away. It's going to take a couple days. Another thing is you need good nighttime temperatures for this to work so if you have temperatures as high as 80 90 degrees but you have nighttime temperatures somewhere in the 50s it's not going to work properly the last thing is it's really beneficial to have some type of cover you want to have preferably a solar pool cover what's that going to do for you is actually maintain that heat when the temperatures start to go down at nighttime so you're still going to lose heat but with the cover on you're not going to lose as much heat and the beauty about the solar cover is that it does work in the daytime it will magnify the rays a little bit more to warm up the temperature just a tad bit faster so one of the first items i went out and acquired was a flat piece of four foot by four foot plywood looking back now i probably should have gone with the four foot by eight foot plywood and the reason why is because it will give me more of a surface area to work with so this way i can lay out more tubing i also went out and purchased two eight foot long two by fours and the purpose of the two by fours is just to provide a border to contain the tubing. As you can see in this video, I'm cutting the two by fours down to size while being mindful to leave two small gaps for the hoses to slip through. And don't be afraid to use a lot of screws to secure the two by fours onto the plywood. I'm using two and a half inch exterior deck screws. This way I don't have to worry too much about rusting down the line. This part of the project, which involved mostly cutting, took about 30 minutes. But after it was all said and done, this is how everything looked at the end. This next part involved spraying the plywood. I used two cans of paint, preferably black paint. It's really important to use black paint for this. The first coat was a primer, and the second coat was to go over the primer and to cover any gaps I may have. I then allowed the paint to dry for one day. My initial plan was to purchase black PEX pipe, but as I was shopping around, I found these black hot water hose from Lowe's. These are made specifically to transport hot water and they have a UV coating that will help resist the harmful rays of the sun. I also went out and purchased these black zip ties. This way I can secure the tubing onto the plywood. So this next part took a while. I struggled a little bit with the tubing. Looking back now, I probably should have let it just sit out in the sun for a little while before I decided to tackle this. And you may or may not notice that I did pre-drill some holes before I applied the tubing. This was unnecessary, but at the time, my mindset was to tackle the drainage. I want to drill some holes so this way I don't have to worry about water collecting in the solar panel. I was able to fit three 50 foot hoses onto this, but I wanted to speed this up to kind of show you what I did when I connected the hose. Before connecting each hose onto each other, I used a little bit of plumber's tape to minimize the chances of leakage. Skipping ahead here, I coiled the tubing as tight as I can, but I know there was gonna be a little bit of an overlap, but that's okay. I used this brass shutoff valve in order to have some control over the flow. Besides controlling the flow, I also wanted to be able to shut off the flow if needed. So as I was building this DIY solar panel, I decided to expand it a little bit and just use some of my landscaping. I decided to use some of that hosing onto the landscape. It's kind of hidden. You're not going to be able to really notice it outright, but I buried it along the pool deck going all along the pool deck because this area is exposed to full sun it's going to also aid in the heating i added an extra 100 feet of hot water hose tubing along the pool deck and then i interconnected it onto the diy solar panel this part of the project was not hard at all i learned from my previous mistake to let the tubing sit out in the sun for a little bit and then lay it out I'm pretty sure there was a better way to do all this, but this was my first time doing a project like this and I kind of want to share with you on the process of what I went through and the struggles I went through and hopefully you can learn from my struggles and build a system a little bit better than mine. 
After I laid out all the tubing, I connected everything together onto my pool pump and this is the final product. So you can see the water is gonna run from the pool pump up onto the solar panel. It's gonna go through all the tubing, 150 foot worth of tubing in the DIY solar panel and then it's gonna exit out. But then it's gonna go along 100 foot of tubing along the pool deck. This way it's gonna get heated up even more. Now I wanted to cut in here for one second. If you're not able to hook up this panel directly to your pool pump, you can also get an external submersible pump. This actually works with the system also. And you can use this if you're not able to hook it up to your pool pump directly. The only downside to using this is that you have to find a way to actually plug it in. But other than that, it's gonna work basically the same. So you can use a submersible pool pump and it's real easy to use. All you gotta do is just put it down in the water, plug it in, hook up your hosing and you're good to go. I started with an initial pool temperature of 63 degrees. I laid out the solar pool cover and I let the solar panel run for about five days. I came back five days later and tested the water again and you can see the water is a whopping 77 degrees after less than a week. I went out and actually tested the water to see what the water temperature was. And the water temperature that was being pumped out by the solar panel was about 82 degrees. So that's about a five degree difference, not too bad. The next day I came out again and I measured the water temperature. The water temperature was about 79 degrees. And that's a two degree difference from the previous day. I wanted to test the water temperature coming out the solar pool heater and it was about 86 degrees. So again, a five to six degree difference. Creating the system like this is very easy to do. All you need is a couple hours minus the time it takes for the paint to dry. Once you have your system up and running, you let it run for a couple days, then, then you can do this.